Hi Wax Friends, I'm Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. What a weird Sunday we're having. It has done everything but from thunder today, poured down rain, windy, dark and gloomy, and now the sun is out. I, I you know, central Illinois weather. It's just, it's just crazy. Um, so I've got my empties for the week. Didn't get through as much as I had been getting through. I did miss one day. I had to go into the office on Monday, so um, it was an interesting week. It was an okay week, I guess, for melting, so let's get started here. Um, I did finish a bag from Rose Girls in Jumping on Green Apple Clouds. Now, this is Vanilla Crunch Donuts, Cotton Candy Frosting, Cup of Cake, Monster Cookie, and Marshmallow Smoothie, which I'm... I think that's her jumping on clouds blend and then it's mixed with green apple. Now I've been working on this for quite some time. I've been doing it in the back bathroom and Courtney's room just you know off and on periodically and I actually really like this. I like the jumping on clouds. I like the green apple. I really didn't think that it would perform in my open concept which is why I just did it in those two rooms. But I think I would get this again, and I think I would try it in my open and just see. It's just a really nice, that green apple is just really sweet. And the bakery comes through on warm. I don't know, I liked this. I, I think this is pretty good. I don't know if I've melted anything else that's like a jumping on clouds blend. I thought I heard the garage. Brad went up to watch the game with some of his friends. I kind of hope he's not home yet. He's gonna interrupt my video. Maybe not, maybe I didn't hear him. Okay, in my bedroom, I did a clam from the bathing garden of Old World Glamour. Now this is a very old clam. This is from December of 21. This, I do not know what the scent notes are, but to me it smelled like um, a cola blend to me. It's It smelled just, actually it smelled strictly cola. Uh, this performed really pretty well in my bedroom and bathroom. I don't think that I would need this again. I do like cola blends. I like them more with, um, more bakery with them. This, this to me was straight cola, but it, it was a good performer. There you have it. Okay, let's see here. What are we gonna do? Okay, so in Courtney's room, two different days, I did this Love Fat Wax, uh, Serendipity Birthday Cake, and Zucchini Bread. Now in this, there were four of these like 3D kind of chunky hearts. This didn't perform badly in her room. I did two hearts, two different days. But I really didn't get any zucchini bread. I kind of got a, like serendipity. Doesn't that usually have a cherry in it? It kind of, to me it smelled like a light cherry birthday cake. But it was, it was pretty light. Um, it's the only thing so far I've melted from this company. I, I wouldn't repurchase that, but. You know, that's, that is the only only thing that I've purchased or I've melted yet from that company. I could smell it. It was just light and it just didn't, didn't sing to me, right? Uh, from Traverse City Wax Co. in my bedroom bathroom, I did some lavender sugar milk. And this is really good. Traverse City has a good lavender. This was sweet. I do like sugar milk. And yeah, this performed really well. It actually performed really well. I think this was like a, was some kind of shape. And I cut it into four pieces, I think is what I did with it. They were like little sunflowers. is not that what her shapes sometimes look like? Kind of like a sunflower or something. But yeah, that's a really good lavender, really sweetened up with the sugar milk. I think that's good. I did in Courtney's room, Okaya from L3. I had two samples. This is a laundry. This is not my favorite laundry. I would not repurchase this, but it performed well. This is, um, I don't know how to explain this one. Is this a, 
Does this say gain laundry maybe? It's not fluffy towels. I don't think it's downy or snuggle. Um, it, like I said, performed well. Not my favorite laundry, but still glad, glad to try it. Okay, we'll finish up my bedroom. Okay, um, so I had some bamboo and rainfall left over. This is a, what is this, guys? This is a new scent in the, uh, one of like the 10 new scents for Scentsy. This is just a really watery, but not aquatic green bamboo scent. Power house. I mean, total powerhouse. So I think I had like four cubes left of this. I put this in my bedroom, did this for, how do we do that? I did it one day. I did it one day in like three warmers. And then the next day I added a cube of bamboo yuzu from Scentsy. This one you can't get any longer. This is Dewy Bamboo Lotus Flower, Fresh Yuzu, and Sage. I added um, two cubes to the another warmer so that I had all four warmers going, kind of had some of this and then this. So then today I took the wax out of one of the warmers in the bedroom and added another cube of this. So it's all kind of going again today and I'll probably go ahead and finish this up tomorrow. I really like these. I do think that I'm going to get a couple more bamboo and rainfall. I think I'll just get two. And I think I'm going to try it this summer in my open concept and see what it does. I would never think to melt this in my open, but this is so strong. Oh my gosh. The bamboo yuzu is really good too. If this came back, I would, oh, this is pretty. I get some of that sage. It's a little more sweetie floral. This is, I think, sweeter than this. I don't know. Um, if I saw this come back, I would pick up one or two bars. Yeah, they're, they're good. Can't, I mean, that bamboo and rainfall, it, it performs out of this world. Okay, so open concept time. I did two clamshells of whipped vanilla and blackberry from Better Homes and Gardens. You can find this at Walmart. This is blackberry, raspberry, blueberry, vanilla, and cream scent notes. Okay, I don't care for this in the clam. I think this picks up this really, that, that weird blackberry note that some blackberries can give. But let me tell you, on warm, Holy cow, this is a hella strong bar, bar, 10 out of 10. It was a little too much for Brad. I had to shut some warmers off, leave them off for a couple hours, and then as the day went on, I kind of added more. Holy heck, this is strong. This is very good. I am now out of this. I would repurchase this. It's just a really strong blackberry, dark berry type of scent. I like it a lot. 10 out of 10 performer. Then I also did two clamshells, and I don't, yes I do, of Ghoul's Night Out from Sensationals, which can also be um, bought at Walmart. Sensationals does have a website, and you can get some of their scents that is, are really hard to find, like that, um, that Spanish themed collection is on the Sensationals website and I did purchase some of those and one of them I really like. Um, but this I think was from their, is it like a Halloween, was this Halloween time? But the scent notes of Ghoul's Night Out are pineapple soda, pink guava, passion fruit, coconut milk, and vanilla cream. So this in no way is a fall scent to me. I think this is definitely spring summer. It is pineapple. And coconut and I really really like this I put it in it was super strong for probably four hours and then it really took a nosedive on me um, I would get this again especially for the cost of a sensationals clam at Walmart I would definitely try it again if I'm thinking right 
this went in the second half of the day and sometimes if i've got wax in in the morning and it starts to die off and i do decide to change my wax halfway i don't know i just think there's something in the air and i think that kind of messes with my scent a little bit so i would definitely try this again like i said it was a great powerhouse for four hours and it's a um it's in their fruit category Pineapple soda, pink guava, passion fruit, coconut milk, and vanilla cream. Yeah, it's just a creamy pineapple coconut, and it's really nice. Ghoul's Night Out. Really nice. So, I wanted to use up. I had, okay, so this is just a bag. I had put, this is key lime pie from Sea Sugar Wax, and I had, Take, I had a loaf and I had taken half of it and put it in a round robin in one of the round robins that I participated in and I kept some of it for myself to try so I just put it in this bag. This, this is a very tart key lime pie to me and um, I like it. I like lime like that but I also like it uh, mixed with some bakery so I had like I said, some of this left and I had some of this left that I, I think this was a gift from Summer Michelle, maybe when we met in Alabama. If not, it came in a D stash I purchased from her and she always adds in extras. Um, but this is I'll Get By With Bread from Sassy Girl Aroma, which is birthday cake, zucchini bread. Toffee, chocolate, fruity buttercream, vanilla cake, and cornbread. So birthday cake, zucchini bread, cupcakes at Tiffany's, um, vanilla cake, cornbread. Yeah. Um, so I mixed these two together. It was very good. I really liked this combo. This all get by with bread. You could mix anything with this. Just to kind of bakeify it or give it a little more warmth and depth. But... This key lime, it really was, the key lime was the star of this blend. It really kind of took over this, but it's a good key lime if you like a tart lime, which I do. So, I haven't even looked to see about buying any more sea sugar. I'm really not sure what her business model is right now. It was really difficult to get her wax at, at one time, uh, and I don't really know right now. Sorry. I should have maybe looked into that. Um, okay, so where is, we'll do this. I did a banana day one day, you guys. Yeah, banana. So one day I did, I had two tiles of Dolly's Banana Pudding Cake from Vintage Chic Scents, which is yellow banana pudding cake smeared with vanilla buttercream frosting. And I had a clamshell of banana bake from Kay's. This is banana nut bread, bananas flambe, and zucchini bread. This is freaking amazing. Yeah, this is really good. This was really good too. This was a great combo. I did this in my open concept and had enough that I also was able to put it, go ahead and put it in the bathroom in Courtney's room. And those rooms, like Courtney's room, if I leave the door open, I mean, that can waft right out into my open concept. And the, the bathroom is just a little ways down the hall. So sometimes I, I'll do the same scent and that's fine. This was really good. I would repurchase both of these. Um, I know I have another banana. Yes. So I needed... I actually also used, um, I'm trying to think how I did this. I had this banana pudding from Goose Creek. I had all of this pulled for a banana day. And I think I used a couple of these with, with the other banana. And then I had some left. So I took what I had left and I mixed it with zucchini bread pretzel white cake. This was excellent too. It was really, really good. Zucchini bread pretzel white cake is a good, good bakery from L3. I'm going to write this down for my customs. I am on her customs. I liked this a lot. So these were all good. Um, Goose Creek melts are not my favorite. I probably wouldn't repurchase this, at least not at this time. 
but I would definitely get all three of these. And like I said, this banana bake from Kay's is so good. That zucchini bread in there really amps it up. It really, really does. So that was good. Good, good, good. Um, what else did we do? Okay. Okay. I'm trying to think how I did this. Where is... What did I mix? Oh, it's in here. <laughs> it's like, where is it? I know I mixed something. Okay. So I had this clam of Dear Diary from Super Tarts. It's Harvest Ale and Shaving Cream. So when I smelled this, I did get, I did get a cider note, but it was mixed with that bright, just shaving cream oil. This is really an interesting scent and I loved this. So I thought, what am I gonna do with this? One clamshell's not gonna do it in my open. I really didn't wanna put it in my bedroom. I pulled out a trig tart from L3 in apple cider. Took these, mixed them together. This was a good day. Not really, I guess, seasonally appropriate, but I don't really much care. You know, I sometimes just start craving something and, you know, if, if I want uh, gingerbread and eggnog in June, I'm going to melt gingerbread and eggnog. But, um, <laughs> so I try to pull for my melting basket a little bit of everything, just depending on my mood. These were really good. This is a winner. I, I you know, it's like, why did I hang on to this so long? This is from... I think it says 321, but I wasn't buying vendor wax then. I, yeah, this is from 322, I believe. Yeah, this was so good. Whoa, Dear Diary, very good. And that, you know, the apple cider from L3 performed well too. Just a, um, a, an apple cider. So I needed a little bit more for um, Courtney's room and uh, the bathroom. So I did... A sample of sugar and spite from Britta's. This is apple cider donuts, cinnamon glaze, baklava, and very vanilla. This was good. Went right along with the theme. Yeah, you really do get the donuts in this one. And then I had some radiant leaves from Sassy Girl Aroma. I don't, I don't care for this. This is that radiant red maple. I think it's a dupe for that. Is that a Bath and Body Works or, yeah, it's, it, it, this isn't my favorite. I know a lot of people love that. There's something about it. I don't know. But anyway, I mean, it all, it all meshed well. It was a good day. It, it really was. Okay. This was also a good day. So I had two big, like, they looked like waffles uh, of a custom that I made from Broadway Wax. And I named it Gloria because I happened to be watching a movie with a character named Gloria. <laughs> um, this is zucchini bread, wild berry mousse, and cream cheese frosting. So I had two of those left out of this. And then I cut up a, what are those round things? Are they poinsettias? This wasn't a poinsettia though. No, this was that other shape that Vintage Chic has. Layers of zucchini bread and wild berry mousse topped with marshmallows cut all this up did this in my open concept had a little bit of this left and i put it in my bedroom okay so i'm going to tell you my open concept was heavenly i would redo repurchase this in a heartbeat from broadway wax and broadway wax is still open i know that i had them on my top five vendor videos and then she announced she was going to close, but I was just on her site uh, playing around with some customs. And uh, she's still open. Zucchini bread, wild berry mousse, cream cheese frosting, A+, plus, hella strong, 10 out of 10. I love this on cold. This didn't give me much in my bedroom. Uh, you know, I... I I didn't care for this in my bedroom. I didn't hardly get anything. So it leads me to believe that this was the powerhouse in my open concept. I don't know. I have a whole blossom bar of this. 
and I don't have any more of this, but I can make this. I can get more. So, so good. So good. I, I, I love Broadway wax. I have such good luck with their stuff. So now we are on today. So I started out the day today melting sweet spot from Southbound. This is Palo Santo sugar cookies, super sugar cookies, frosted sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, vanilla shortbread cookies, and vanilla ice cream. Now, I normally wouldn't have melted this all by itself. To me, this is like a blender scent. So I don't know what got into me last night. I mean, I, I remember I cut this all up, got it in my warmers all ready to go for this morning. So when I first put this in everywhere, at first I was like, oh man, I'm not really getting much from this. So I read it and I was like, well, Maggie, this is full of vanilla bakery and Palo Santo. You know, sometimes you can get a lot and sometimes you can't. And I thought, oh, I'm going to give it some more time, see what happens. I went in my bedroom where I have all the, you know, the bamboo going, the green stuff. And I came out and shut the door and I was just like, oh, wow, it is like vanilla bakery heaven out here. And it really was. I then, a little later, I had to run down to the basement and get a tote for Sydney because she was going back to school. She's packing up her apartment. Thought the same thing. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is really good. You really get the vanilla bakery notes in this. I will say, this is a very perfumey palette. Strange. There, are, there were times while this was going today where I got really, really strong perfumey palo. And then in another sniff, I would get the bakery. I do like this. I have enough for another warm in here, and I'm excited about that. I don't know if I will do it by itself or if I'll mix it with something. I'm not sure. Um, it's interesting. It really is. But it, the, I know some of you don't like the perfumey Palo. And it, it was so weird because at times I did get the best just vanilla bakery goodness with this. And then other times I got a perfumey Palo, which I don't mind. I, I'm an equal opportunity Palo melter. Um, so I don't know. But I'm glad to have this and to give it another try. Yeah. I did like it. It was good. Okay. So um, it had it, it wasn't a scent though that I really did go nose blind to without leaving the room and coming back in I was completely nose blind to that I, I could have told you there was nothing melting so I ended up taking it out about 30 minutes ago and I put in blackberry buttercream from Kringle Candle okay so this is weird <laughs> I get butter pecan from this. I am curious if any of y'all have ever melted this. I would love to hear your experience with this. I don't dislike this. This it's, but it does not smell like blackberry in any way to me. It smells like butter pecan. So if I were to get this again, and I don't know that I will, I would maybe mix this with blackberry. And I'm actually going to try to make a custom of like blackberry and a butter pecan oil. I have some butter pecan from Scentsy. I don't know. I've got some plans. This is making me think. Um, so I was hoping maybe a little more of the blackberry would come out on warm. Like I said, it's only been going about half out. Well, no, it's been going longer than that because this video is 23 minutes. So it had been going about 20 minutes before I started this video and I went in, I smelled it. I, I, you know, I could tell it was light, but I put my nose over the warmers and I get butter pecan. So interesting. I'm not, I'm not sold on this. I'm not, I'm not, yes, I'm not, no, I'm not sure. So that's all I got through. Like I said, not a ton this week. Um, I do have my notepad because I know last week again, I forgot to bring it down here and I don't want to stand up in front of the camera and stuff. So all together this week, 47 items went out and 21 came in. What came in this week was my ebony and ivory uh, pre-order. That was 21 items. Um, there were the... 
So how so many items went out is I made another bag of wax for my mom. And there were 23 items in that bag to her that were not on my spreadsheet. So they're not coming out of my num my big numbers, but they are in my in and out numbers. Um, like I said, most of them were samples and you know, I stopped logging my samples in my, in my spreadsheet some time ago. I still have a lot of samples in there to get through, but uh, I, I no longer log them in there. So I started the week with 3,981 pieces of wax, even with the 21 pieces, um, I was able to end with 3,982. So, you know, pretty good week, actually. I did, let's see, did I place any orders this week, guys? This week. Yes, I placed one order, one wax order. No, okay, no, we got to talk for real, don't we? Okay, so yes, I guess I only placed one wax order this week, and that was L3. And l 3s close, and I am going to place some L3 orders. It's, it's going to happen. Um, I did a small, very small Bath & Body Works order today. It was two three wicks and um, a single wick that I used a free item on, and I had a 25% off coupon. So I got two of the $14.95 candles and then got 25% off. So I did do that today, and then I placed a Goose Creek candle order because I wanted the peanut butter and jelly candle. I bought two of those and bought some other candles that were $6.99 and $8.99. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. So that's it. That's what I bought. I, I'm skipping one of my favorite vendors uh, pre-ordered today because I have a lot of her wax and I know that I can get, she does custom, so the things that I want I can get at any time. Um, is that it? It kind of seems like I made one more wax order. But if I did, it wasn't very big. But I don't know. I can't remember, so maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm thinking of last week. Don't know. But anyway, that was my week. I am looking forward to melting next week. I should be home all five days. So maybe I can get through some more stuff. So everyone, I hope you're having a great Sunday. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.